everyone, how are you doing today? I'm here with a different video. In this video, I have an HP laptop. This one is an HP 15-DA0009. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to do your own maintenance, open it up, tear it down, and repaste the CPU and clean the fan and the condenser. So first thing first, what you need is an opening tool set. I really recommend you guys to grab the iFix set they have a really nice set for the opening your electronics they have all the bits that you need and they come with the pliers with tweezers and the opening tool right here and if you don't get the whole set at least get this set right here the screwdriver set and in order if you want to get something for opening tool you can use a guitar pick it pretty much comes down to the same thing but this one has a handle so we're gonna use the screwdriver and we're gonna use an opening tool here. Now, once you flip your laptop down and over, you wanna remove the rubber legs at the bottom. Just lift up. Don't yank 90 degrees, you're gonna break it. Going 45 degrees. All right, and just put it. If you lift it up and the adhesive it stays on the board, let it stay there. Don't yank the adhesive. But in my case, the adhesive came on this side. So do the back side. All right, in the back side, the adhesive stayed on the board, not in here. It's kind of uh, sticky, but the adhesive is right there. All right, next, you want to unscrew the screws. Just because the adhesive tape is on top, it's not going to let the screw come all the way out. You can use a uh, tweezer to pull them out, but, or you can just loose them up and leave it there. Just like that. Just do an extra turn, so when you make sure it's not screwed down. Remove everything else. The one in the front, never forget that one. All right, now that we remove all the screws, you wanna open your laptop in 45 degree angle, and you wanna open, get your opening tool and stick it between the top and the bottom cover right there, and you wanna twist it. Just like that. To the front, to the side, You have to do both sides. All right, once you got them loose, just like that, you wanna close it back down. Now you wanna grab the bottom and put your fingers right on the hinge and pull out it slowly, just wiggle around and you're gonna hear a click and then wiggle it around and push it towards the outside. All right, now down here we have the heat the fan, which is dirty, and the heatsink and the CPU right underneath. You're only gonna remove four screws on the heatsink. You do not need to remove the battery. There's no need, but if you want to, there's one, two, three screws, then you can lift up the battery. But if the power is off, you don't need to. And lift up the heatsink right there. There we have it. Now you can grab a toothbrush, old or new toothbrush, and clean up the condenser right here. Make sure there's no dust, and you can blow the air from this way inward so you can remove all the things. You either can remove the fan by removing one screw right here and lift up the fan and unhook it from the jack and clean it with a toothbrush. All right, but this one it looks pretty clean, so I'm just gonna leave it there. Right. Now, next we wanna clean the CPU and the heatsink. You wanna grab a working towel, 
Don't use that tissue paper. And you want to just rub right on top of the CPU. Remove the excess and then flip over and do it again with a clean side. Make sure there is no dust particles on the crystal die. Clean, shiny as that. Clean up the heat sink, same thing. Remove the excess and with a clean side, just remove it. It's not a good idea that they put a different type of metal and uh, as we know that copper is a better conductive of heat so they should have at least put a copper plate here but they have a different type of metal but it's okay anyway so you want to grab yourself a thermal paste mx4 or you can use the arctic silver or anything else whatever your budget can give the better the longer it will last and the less maintenance you have to do. All right, now next, you wanna grab your heat sink, put it right on top, align it, and you wanna cross stitch these screws. That means you wanna start in one side, put a little bit, don't tighten it up all the way. Do the other side, like yeah, And then start on that corner. Now you can go ahead and tighten them up really nicely. There we go. And that's, more, that's it pretty much. And next thing is to grab the bottom cover and place it right on top. Put the I.O. side, the USB port inside. And then press the corners, the sides. Make sure you hit that click. And next, you need to put the screws. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you guys how to put these rubber legs because that's, most of you are gonna make a mistake by putting them. There we have it. All right, what I was talking about is this. Some people grab the, the rubber and they're gonna start from one side and they just put it down and they just start pushing it down and they think everything is gonna be okay. But no, you're gonna be left over with an extra rubber at the other end, even if you start nicely on one side. So to prevent this, you wanna start from one side, from this side, and you wanna go halfway through, and then you wanna stop and you wanna start on the other side. Now you're gonna have a little bump right in the middle. And you wanna work on this bump and you wanna push it down, go to this side a little bit, and then once you get to this side, you wanna go back again to other side. And you're gonna see the volume is gonna go down and somewhere in here it's gonna finish just like that and now we got both evenly on both sides same thing on the front you start on one side halfway through go to other side and it starts on the other side and you meet in the middle and it's all done and next thing you're going to open the laptop and if you see any lifts in, in corners just pinch them and that should be oh all. all right guys thanks for watching i hope you guys leave that like button and if you have any comment questions or requests just leave them in the comment area and i'll see you guys in my next video